The next group of tools on the view window are used to zoom, pan, and rotate the view. However, while working in a model, it is often most efficient to use mouse and keyboard shortcuts to navigate the view. Select the view group, Building Model Back, created in the last session, and then we will practice navigating the view using the following view shortcuts. Scrolling the wheel will zoom in and out. Holding the Alt key while scrolling the wheel will pan the view left and right. Pressing the wheel will pan the view in any direction. Holding the Shift key while pressing the wheel will rotate the view in any direction. and double-clicking the wheel will fit the view. And of course, holding the Shift and Control key on the keyboard with a right-click in any view will display the screen menu with the standard view rotations displayed. Return to the back left isometric. It is also possible to turn a camera on in any view. From the View Perspective pull-down, Note that there are several standard camera rotations, or you can set the camera interactively. Select Change View Perspective. Select a view. A dot appears at the data point location. Move the pointer away from the dot to increase the perspective and accept with the data point. When a camera is on in the view, holding the control key while scrolling the reel will walk you forward and backward instead of just zooming in and out. Now, let's set the view back to the way we would like to save it for the building model back view group. Turn off the camera and then fit the view. You can now toggle between the two view groups, the building model, which has a front isometric top and front view, and the building model back, which has a back isometric a top view and a side view. Toggle back to the building model view group. Now let's save our current file settings so that the next time you open the model, it opens to this view group with all the changes you have made to the view display and rotation. A save settings can be done from the quick access toolbar or using the keyboard shortcut Control F. Note that the file itself is saved automatically every few seconds. We do not need to worry about saving the changes to the file geometry. Now that you know how to set the display and navigate your view, you are ready to place more geometry, this time using the AccuDraw Compass for precision input. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.